Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we're making an exploration crew. I have issues with the words exploration, okay. <laughs> um, I know from the thumbnail you might have noticed that these three sims don't necessarily look like they belong together. One of them kind of stands out just a little bit, but yesterday when I sat down, well it wasn't yesterday, Thursday when I sat down, I wanted to record a cast video and use a few of the items from the new, um, the new game pack, and I figured that I would come up with sort of a background story. It's not gonna turn into an LP, because I feel like I'm a little bit behind everyone else when it comes to this LP thing, when it comes to like uh, junk love and trail piece. So we're just not gonna go, we're not gonna do it. Um, but I did want to come up with a background story for this cast just because I thought it would be fun. So this is Fiorella Fuente, Fuentes. I cannot pr pronounce names, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a known fact, I butcher names. Um, the other two sims in this crew are called Roxy Rhodes and Jewel Jones and Roxy and Jewel are from the big city. As you can see, they're kind of staying out just a little bit, but the thing is they wanted to go to Salvadorada to explore, go on an adventure, see the jungle, experience some things. Um, but the thing is they don't really know how to do that. They're not prepared. They have no idea what to, what to expect when they get there and they don't know how to dress for it. They don't know what to bring and so on and so on. So when they got there, to Salvadorada, they decided to hire a guide who is Fiorella here. She is a native Salvadoradarian, <laughs> maybe. I don't really know what, what's a person or a sim from Salvadorada called. Um, question mark. I don't know. But anyways, because she's lived here her entire life, she knows everything, she knows the jungle. She's probably got some animal friends out there in the woods as well, and I think it's a really good idea for Roxy and Jewel to hire her as a guide because those two girls are clueless. <laughs> At least that's what I had in mind when I made them. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Fiorella here could definitely teach them a thing or two about going exploring in the jungle. Maybe next time they can come back alone without her. Maybe they don't need to hire her. Maybe they just become really, really good friends and end up hanging out together a lot here. Who knows? I mean, it is far away. Let's pretend that Roxy and Jewel live in Semishuno somewhere. I feel like they could probably fit in in the Spice District well. And then they just kind of one day woke up and were like, we need to go, we need to go to the jungle. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't wake up one day and think, I need to go to the jungle today. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's a good idea for the two of them to hire Fiorella here, Fiorella here. Um, I feel like she could definitely teach them a thing or two. Maybe she'll take them to the bar, you know, introduce them to people, other natives in Salvador and teach them to, to dance salsa and stuff like that. I think that will be kind of kind of a good adventure for the two of them. But anyways, for Roxy here, I love her hair. I love that hair texture. Ia did a really, really good job on that one. Plus, it's got some funky uh, color combinations in that hair as well. So she definitely needed to have that one on her. <laughs> um, I basically put it on before I fixed her face because I just, I had to use it and I needed to make sure that her face kind of fit the hair because I just had to use that hair. So anyways, uh, her style is a bit like pastel punk. I wanted there to be this, we, this, a reoccurring theme with the pastel with the two girls and then just Fiorella standing out a little bit with her orange or bright orange in her just colorful outfits with the mer so that's not what it's called sunflowers on them as well so she's got more of a pastel punk kind of vibe to her outfits um i gave her fishnet stockings i'm sure we're gonna get stuck in some branches in the jungle <laughs> i also gave her some fancy denim shorts in one of the outfits i don't fully remember her tops but i did make this thursday that two, two days ago by the way i'm trying out a new uh video editing program i'm trying out premiere pro this this time so I'm just gonna see how that goes but uh, if this this is if this video is completely messed up that would be why <laughs> but anyways just a little side note there but yeah definitely try to keep the two girls outfits a little bit more uh, fashionable rather than 
um, practical, basically, <laughs> is what I was going for. I think I made her um, creative, hates children, and lazy. She wants to be a musician, by the way. She wants to be more of a rock-ish kind of musician, maybe rock-pop kind of musician. So I thought those traits would fit her. Also, I thought the lazy one would be funny considering they're going on a freaking adventure. <laughs> um, so that would be kind of funny to play with, I think, but I'm not gonna do an LP. This is not gonna turn into an LP. I was just kind of having fun with the cast. Anyways, for Jewel, you'll see later on. I think I kept her, if I recall correctly, I think I kept her outfits in more of a cuter side rather than punk like uh, Roxy here. I made her a bookworm, loner, and a cat lover because I think she's more of a shy kind of sim uh, who probably would just, like she's careful so maybe it's a good thing that she's going out on this adventure kind of forcing her out of her shell, meet some people, make some new connections, go dance some, go do some salsa, dance some salsa. Uh, is that even, does that make sense, dance, dance some salsa? I'm not sure. When I think salsa, I think of hot sauce. <laughs> And I don't know, I actually used to dance Zumba, uh, which has touches of rumba and also salsa in it. So um, I know, I was that, I was that person. <laughs> Zumba is so much fun though. <laughs> I'm just saying, so no judging here. <laughs> but anyways, so I think it would be a good idea for Jewel to just get out of her shell, get outside, uh, meet some new people. She wants to be a friend of the world as well, so it's a, yeah, I, th I think that's her goal with this adventure, to just kind of get out of her freaking shell, you know, just push herself to just get out there and explore things, experience some new stuff, and yes. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think about this exploration crew and if you want to see more cast videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I know I've been a bit slacky on... Slacky? Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. I've been slacking a little bit on CC list lately. I've just been super busy. Like, I am busy all the time with either work or making videos. I'm working on a 64 by 64 build right now as well, so that's taking up quite a lot of time, but I'm trying my best here and also I'm trying to keep a track of my tumblr as well so there's a lot of stuff to do but i will do my best to link as much cc as possible as possible as possible in a uh, google document for you guys so anyways i hope you like these sims you can download them off the gallery my id is the for youtube name so evidence sims and i hope you enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye Until break of dawn, baby, it's the two of us.